to Eddie from Ohio. Yeah. 
kind reminder. Yes, this is our sixth time in a row here at Falcon Ridge. It's our sixth anniversary. For Falcon Ridge, and it's come to my attention as the first year is the paper year, the fifth year is the year of wood. The sixth year, believe it or not, is mud. I looked it up, I Googled it when I was home, so thank you. I was thinking of a coupon for a facial, we gave you rain instead. You're welcome. <laughs> Here's a song I wrote for my son, Liam. This is called Hey Little Man. Yeah. Hey little man, hey little man, what you gonna dream about tonight? Hey little man, hey little man, what you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about tonight? Oh yeah. Are you gonna dream about the one who came upon two roads to rose the birds in a yellow wood? He couldn't travel long, so he had, had to make a choice. And he chose one less travel by. Hey, little man, hey, little man, hey, little man. what you gonna dream about tonight? Hey, little man, hey, little man, what you gonna Dream about what you gonna dream, what you gonna dream about tonight. Oh, yeah, are you gonna dream about the sun who found his way back home for so many years? He'd been away, he thought about his family and how he loved them so, and promised him that he was back to stay. Hey, little man, hey, little man, what you gonna dream about tonight? Hey little man, hey little man, what you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about tonight? Are you gonna dream about the colors of the rainbow? Of the rainbow. And the pot of gold that's waiting at the end. May luck be by your side, and the spirit be your guide, and may you know the blessing, you know. and may you know the joy, and may you know the What you gonna dream about tonight? Hey little man, hey little man. What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about tonight? Whoa. Julie Murphy Wells in a tank top. Ten's a perfect number. We are 
this festival and it stops right at the perimeter of this very facility believe me so I arrived here today I do want to send props out to one particular individual but uh, you don't have to go far before you feel the hostility of those who don't take too kindly to this festival being in this hell town <laughs> we did a U-turn just down the road on 23 here my family and I and uh, all we heard following the uh, squirrel drums going off of, get out of our driveway and uh, <laughs> danger But that U-turn led to a, I don't think they told the Hillsdale's finest here what activity was going on in here. So I pulled up slowly to take a right. I went, whoa, 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 where are you going? So I, I'm a performer. You're a farmer? I said, no, I, I'm play, playing at the festival. What do you farm? <laughs> so I'd like to send this out to him. <laughs>
She would take her daddy's well sharpened sickle and carve kill men in the sycamore tree. The men came courting, but she'd keep her distance. Never cracked a smile, just played it coy. Some say she is tender as a petal. She'd act tough because her daddy wanted the boy. Old man Brown and a girl named Dot, the middle button and the most vain of the three. She'd dig her daddy's battle strap and whip anyone who call her Dorothy. The men would float her and she would be bam. Crack them where they'd find it safe to kiss. Oh, like the bar or the porch or the upstairs parlor. Anywhere to keep them from the father's fist. sister. <laughs> yeah. To get revenge on the little wench who tormented her in elementary school. This is called 1000 Sarah's.
excited because uh, we just this week finished uh, finished mixing our, our brand new album which is due out October 19th and we're proud to say it definitely does not suck so we're moving up in the world it's a good thing for Eddie from Ohio and uh, this is one I feel like I finally found my voice as a writer and um, it's, it's, it's a comforting thing and a wonderful thing. Uh, of, of course, it, it does give me some, some pause that it seems to be the voice of an Irish female. <laughs> which, which, uh, which, while it certainly has its pleasures, um, can, can be awkward at times. So, um, <clears throat> luckily there's an Irish female in our band, and um, I'll let you figure out which one. To send this song out to uh, to two of our, our dearest friends uh, in the music business, if not if, if not the universe, uh, Eric Lowen and Dan Navarro, Lowen and Navarro, who are playing up on the stage in a, in a couple of hours here. I think, uh, oh boy, are we glad to see them at Falcon Ridge finally, and uh, and they like this song. This is called Baltimore.
That means there's whiskey in my glass And I've been here a lifetime Case in the joint And I'm that kind of woman Who cries in her whiskey If you can't cry when you're Irish Then what's the point? six-year tenure, much more our entire 14 years together. We've been the same four piece you see up here, and not every band can make that claim. Take Richard Schindel. He breaks up every time he comes here. He's bipolar. He's kooky. He's crazy. But we also have the proud distinction of naming ourselves after our finest member, and he's going to unleash his percussive fury on your hillside right now. Can you take it, O'Hill people? Get those glow sticks away, then, for the master of disaster, Eddie from Ohio, Haggis.
Target, so Julie's happy. But our leading industry right now is traffic. And in traffic, we have a lot of communications, much like you see to my right and your left, nonverbal stuff. Well, there's a lot of that going behind the wheel. I was the recipient of a certain gesture not too long ago. I, I, I interpreted it to mean something along the Dick Cheney lines that I should self administer some kind of pleasure. I didn't know where this kid was coming from. I was in the right. He was in the wrong. I wanted to chase him down and say, look, normally it wouldn't bother me, but today is my birthday. And that's the truth. And I'm telling you, my son's birthday was yesterday. I didn't flip him off. <laughs> so we give you this new song right now, a message of peace, love, and a little redemption. <laughs> it's called The Bird. Thinking of I'm so benign and kind, an ambassador of love. I've got your will, nice teeth, and plus the right away. Then who are you to act in such an evil way? My punch is dead, my face is red. I wish I were back home in bed. I've got this picture perfect village that resides inside my head. I'm awoken by your horse and your angry little finger instead. Don't give me the bird. To think, what could I've ever done? You've got one branch, five twigs, and one lonely one. I got here first, you're in my path, you're in my life, you're in the wrong. Give your gesture to yourself, look ahead, move along. With feet of lead, I bet you said, why did I stop? I should have said, I am a Pollyanna.
bitch, this is why I react to you this way. Don't flip me off. No, not now. My birthday is today. Must have fled. I just said my friend of chivalry is dead. But I am the bird of happiness, you stupid little kid. My heart is broken by your horse. workshop and uh yes we're very psyched for that six years in a row with that and then we're going to be um signing the merchandise tent after that so we hope we see you tomorrow morning and thank you as always for being the greatest audience ever you think you'll find some mountains in western colorado 50 weeks of snowy peaks is where you're gonna be but be there they are. A gradually eroding. Feel like singing?
talking on you. You the old dominion. You're to Just southeast of heaven to the surf and the hills. The best of 13 sisters and 37 more. Sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door. Sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door. Sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door. Sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door.